This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Sometimes smartphones can be just a little bit too smart, especially if you're buying a phone for a senior or even a kid, for example, or just your parent who doesn't want all the functionality of a confusing Android phone, like the Liquid E3 we've got here. While it's very well spec for the £130 asking price with a 720p screen and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, the phone does manage to pack in a very, very swipe, pinch and tap heavy user interface, unless you decide to opt for quick mode. Now quick mode is Acer's overlay on top of Android and we originally saw it on the Liquid Z5 and we really like the fact it simplified things so much. Now we've really put it through its paces with the E3, we thought we'd give you a quick explanation as to what's hot and what is not about the feature. Um, you can see we've got six key modes here, we've got basic mode and senior mode and those two are locked down. You can't actually change any of the settings in there without using a password. You've also got keypad mode and classic mode and they're simplified versions of Android Android that allow you to access your phone in a way that maybe won't overwhelm you quite so much. And finally, you've got default mode, which takes you through to the standard Android experience, and you've got the option to change your four digit password. If we tap through on basic mode, you can see you've got six contacts. Swipe left and you go to gallery, swipe right and you go to your camera. The six contacts um, are customizable through the settings. However, if you give this to a kid, for example, they won't be able to change those settings without a password. You've also got the option to jump into your messages and send a message to all six contacts by tapping those three envelopes, and that'll say, please call me back. You can receive calls, but you can't take them. If we jump through to the settings, enter our password, tap OK. We can see here we can do a range of things like customize our contacts, but probably our favorite thing you can do is schedule power on and power off. So you can set when your child has access to your, their smartphone. If we tap through onto mode switcher, we can check out senior mode now. And you can see there are a few more options here. You've got up to 10 contacts. Again, the envelopes in the middle will uh, send all of them a message saying, please call me back, an SOS of sorts. You've also got a telephone um, dialer option, as well as clock contacts, magnify weather, and an application of your choice, and message. The clock function is um, simple as the contacts magnify is super cool. So you can see we've got this piece of paper here which has teeny tiny letters. We can plonk it down, we can tap on magnify, and we can zoom in. Zoom right in to the point where we can read with ease using the 13 megapixel camera, something that we otherwise might not have been able to. If we tap back once again, we can access our gallery to the left and our camera to the right. You can see we've got weather in the top right hand corner. Huzzah, one of the most checked things on a smartphone. Not if you're using quick mode. Unfortunately, the weather option on the Acer Liquid E3 doesn't work. Hopefully Acer will fix this in a software update soon. You've also got the weather channel, which is an application that we can customize to any application in the settings and finally messaging. Jumping out of that, 0000 for our password. And we can also see we can do things like set font size, which is really handy for anyone who may be visually impaired. Tap on mode switcher and it's the simplified Android forms. These aren't locked down. You can access some basic applications, not all your applications. You can also access messaging, media, which um, showcases key um, media functionality, as well as weather once again, which doesn't work. So there's clearly a disconnect there and settings. You can also access your dialer right up in front there. You don't need a passcode like we said to go into the settings and we can tap through on mode switcher, access classic mode, and this gives you even more functionality. So you also have internet options as well as um, applications that you can set as my apps. If we jump out of that, we can very, very clearly see mode switcher. The final option is a default mode in which you've got your variable number of home screens, your pull down notifications tray and your applications tray. Now that's what's good about the device and about um, quick mode. What is bad about quick mode is if we do open it and we do jump into basic mode, we can actually multitask. And if we've got applications open in the past, like for example, the Google Play Store, our kid, for example, could make in-app purchases um, and access the Play Store applications. In addition to that, that is also applicable for senior mode. And so if we jump through to mode switcher, senior mode, we can see multitasking works. 
In addition to multitasking, you've also got access to your pull down tray. So if there are application updates that have happened, you will be able to access them. So it is not a complete lockdown clearly, but it is a step in the right direction to making your smartphone a little bit less smart than it needs to be to cater for all audiences. Hopefully you've enjoyed our hands on all the pros and the cons of Asus Quick Mode. You can stay tuned to our YouTube channel for the Liquid E3 review coming very soon. We'll expect to post that in the next couple of days. If you've got any questions about it in the meantime and want us to test anything out for the review, make sure you fire them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. At the top of the screen is where you can find three hand-picked videos for your viewing pleasure. On the left is where you can subscribe and on the right hand side you can find some exclusive deals if you head over to btext.com.